Hello guys, this is going to be my new um, 2020 prediction as of July 18th. I did one a month ago in June. Um, there's going to be some updates. Um, I'm probably going to do it every two weeks. Um, a new presidential prediction. And then this is going to be my prediction for as of July 18th. So basically, the polls, the state of the country, trends, and so on. So let's start with safe democratic states for Joe Biden. I mean, we can do this if you want. Biden v. Trump. Okay. So, California, solid. Hawaii is a solid state. New York will be a solid state. Vermont, Massachusetts, Maryland, D.C., and I guess probably Delaware. That's a home state. Although, I guess you could say it is, it's not as solid as a New York or Vermont, but it'll still be solid. Okay. Safe Republican states will really be, you know, the usual. Utah, McMullen is a not going to be running, so I am not going to characterize that as anything but safe for Trump. Kansas, Oklahoma, I know the poll in Arkansas, there's been some, I don't think that's accurate, um, and there's a wide consensus that that poll is pretty bad. Anyway, uh, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Indiana, well, actually, I'll, I'll keep Indiana out of it, actually, and then I guess that's it. Um, all right, now let's move on to likely dem states, which will be Washington, Illinois, um, you know, these are states, Democrats win them, but definitely not as big as a margin as the solid states, which is why they're characterized as likely. And Maine's first congressional district, that could be said as lean, but I'll keep that as likely. It's pretty likely anyway. Rhode Island and New Jersey, also other likely Dem states. Um, is that all? Okay, actually, I'm, yeah, I'm going to say... Virginia and New Mexico are also likely both states trending Democrats. They could be likely this election, even more than Connecticut and Oregon. Um, it's just based on trends. These states are trending blue, and then these states, or the, these states are trending blue. These states are trending red if you look at the trends. Okay, now like the Republican states will be Alaska, um, Indiana, Missouri, and South Carolina. Um, I know Missouri is a toss-up right now in the RCP map, but if you really look back at the 2016 polls, if you look back at July and August and June, the polls were very similar to how they are now. So I don't think that's going to affect how what they look like now, how they're going to how they're going to change in 2020. Um, let's see if I'm moving out anything. South Carolina, South Carolina, Indiana, same reasons. Trump won them by around. 15 to 20 points, as well as Alaska. It's just not as big as a margin as the rest of the solid Republican states. All right, so lean Dem states. I'm going to go with Connecticut, Oregon. I'm going to say Colorado, Minnesota. Um, I might come back to more lean Dem states, but that's what's going to be right. Um, Colorado's trending blue. Minnesota, it is trending red, but it could still. I think it'll still stay in Joe Biden's column. Um, and I guess that's what we have right now. Now, Texas will be a lean red state. I know the polls are really close right now. I think they're going to start to spread out as we get closer to the election, and it'll definitely go more towards and eventually lean in Trump's favor. As well as Georgia, he won that by five points. He'll win it by around five or four points this election. Um, even the polls have him up by seven and eight points, some of them. I don't think it'll be by that margin, maybe four, five, maybe three, but I think it'll be like that. Um, and I think Iowa, Trump won that state by nine points. The margin could narrow up, but he'll win that state as well as Ohio in the lean margin. Um, and Maine second congressional district, all eight to 10 point margins, Trump won 2016. I think it'll narrow up a little bit more because Joe Biden's a better candidate, but I think that they will all go to Trump. All right. So we're actually just going to go right to tilt, um, Democrat states. I think Arizona's still going to tilt Democrat. It's trending blue. Um, you know, uh, the Senate race, Right now, it looks terrible for the Republicans. Democrats won in 2018. Um, Hillary definitely narrowed that state up. It is trending blue, and it's looking bad for Republicans, as well as New Hampshire will tilt. Uh, Clinton only won that by 0.3. Biden may win it by a little bit more or a little bit less. It's always a very close state. Um, um, I think Joe Biden will tilt Michigan. I think Trump's going to make that state close. I still think Joe Biden will win that state. Um, I'm going to do some Republican now. I think Trump will win North Carolina. As I said in my last video, I think North Carolina is a slightly larger 
uh, proportion of Republicans and Democrats, and they're going to come out, especially since there's a few hundred thousand evangelicals in that state, and Mike Pence definitely gets their support. So now we're down in Nevada, Wisconsin, Pennsylvania, and Nebraska uh, first, second congressional. Trump will tilt that state or lean or whatever the district is. He won in 2016. He'll win in 2020. Uh, same reasons for North Carolina. And, you know, I don't think there's going to be major enthusiasm for Joe Biden. I think there's even more for Hillary Clinton. Okay. I just think people like Joe Biden more. It doesn't mean they're going to come out to the polls. Um, oh, actually, we also have this state. I think that the uh, Maine at large will go to Joe Biden. Um Hillary won that by around five points. Uh, it could narrow up. Uh, Trump is definitely gaining support in Maine uh, with the second congressional district. Um, and I think Joe Biden will still win the state by tilt margin. You could argue lean, though. So um, now this is when it gets interesting. Okay, Nevada. I think Trump will win that state this time. It was, you know, the polls always are really weird in that state with Arizona and Nevada. It really seems these uh, four states, Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, and Colorado, all have pretty strange polls. Uh, Hillary Clinton won the state uh, by around 2.9 points. It's trending red. Uh, Dean Heller lost that state in the Senate race, but he was a wildly unpopular senator. I think Trump could pick that state up if he does campaign there and he tries to get those electoral votes. So Joe Biden now, let's say, what else do we have? We just have Florida. We have Pennsylvania and Wisconsin. So I say Joe Biden will win Florida. Polls are not looking good for Trump right now. This could definitely change, especially with large Cuban turnout due to, uh, you know, I would say that the the, the the Democrats are moving more left. Uh, Cubans may be afraid. Obviously, the history of communism in Cuba. Um, Trump is gaining support with, uh, with Hispanic people. If you look at the polls, that could help him out in Florida. But I do see Joe Biden getting a lot of the elderly vote, feeling more safe with Joe Biden as, you know, in the White House. Um, and he also, he has, he's very popular among them as well. Okay, so I think Joe Biden could also win Pennsylvania that would, you know, solidify him as uh, president, but he could win that state uh, by tilt margin. The polls are, he's up around five or six points. I think that'll definitely narrow up. I think Trump's going to be campaigning there. It really depends on how Joe Biden's performance is on the debates and, uh, it, you know, uh, his policies and so on. But Trump could get him there. I have it as a tilt blue right now, but I think Trump could carry on, could hang on to Wisconsin. He does have a strong base there. Um, Joe Biden does have support there, but as the campaign goes on, you know, dirt, there's going to be more dirt dig, dig, dug up on people. Um, Trump could keep Wisconsin. Um, I don't know. Who knows? Uh, the debates are really going to be really important. Some say Biden's not going to be in the debates. I don't think that's happening, but we'll see. Um, and I also think campaign strategies, and if Trump is going to campaign there with the coronavirus happening, it's going to be an important factor. So... I do see Joe Biden winning this election. Uh, I did have Trump winning this election um, a month ago, but things have changed. Um, the polls are getting worse for Trump. He's going to have to turn this around, and he can definitely still turn this um, around. It's going to be up to what he decides to do. Um, I don't think Joe Biden's enthusiasm is going to be that large, but I think it's going to be more of an enthusiasm against Trump than for Biden, and I think that is a strong enthusiasm among all the Democrats and even some Republicans with the Lincoln Project and Mitt Romney and George Conway and some other notable figures. Um, so this is what I see the election map at right now, 302, 236, very similar to the 2016 map, except kind of flipped. Trump won 306, Hillary 232. So I'm going to make it all one color so you can see what the new uh, demographics of the country will look like. Um, like the new red and blue states. Okay, so here we go. The Rust Belt, Biden getting that blue wall back. Um, Trump, I did have Trump losing Nevada last time. I'll have him winning this time. Um, you know, it's it's a tilt state, but I think Trump could win it. Um, it's still trying to grad. Okay, so here we go. Um, we'll finish the map off with the Trump states. Three or two, two thirty-six. This is definitely a different type of map than what I showed you in June eighteenth, but where I think that was a month ago. I'm not sure the exact date I uploaded the video, but this is a little bit different. Obviously, Biden wins this election. Um, Trump can still turn this around. It's just going to be up to what he decides to do, and you know, Biden can increase his lead as well. Um, 
it's just going to decide on what they do as candidates, a lot of factors with the trends and with the debates and enthusiasm. Trump does have more enthusiasm than Biden. It's just going to be up to a lot of different factors. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this prediction. Stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to come out with a lot more analyzations of polls um, um, and give my reasoning as to why I feel certain ways on the polls right now and why I would be more skeptical than some people would um, um, about the polls right now. So I'm also going to be talking about many other things, more Senate predictions, governor predictions. House is a little bit iffy because there's so many different races. I'm probably, if I do, I'll just give like a generalization of what I think will happen. Um, but anyway, 302, 236, Biden beats Trump. As of right now, there's still four months to go to left in the election. Trump can turn it around. It's going to be up to what he does. Anyway, thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos. Enjoy.